Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to use Trello for day blocking. If you haven't seen my orientation video already to Trello, uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description of this video and watch that first, then come back to this. So basically when you log into Trello, <coughs> there's lots of ways that you can set this up. Um, in this scenario we're going to look at using it for day blocking. So what you want to do is you want to set up columns similar to this. This would be if you're using it basically to day block your weekend to make sure that you're most effective on your time off. You can also do this for your time on. So what you would do is you would you would want to say, <clears throat> on this weekend, I want to mow the lawn. I want to uh, get the dogs groomed, fix my brakes on a vacuum, the living room. You can see the spell checks built into this because I spelled vacuum wrong. Okay, so basically you're just going to create some tasks throughout the week. I would recommend you keep on adding more and more cards for all the stuff that you think about that you want to do on the weekend because everybody's working for the weekend. And um, what you want to do is you want to say, okay, on Saturday, I'm going to mow the lawn. On Sunday, I'm going to get the dogs groomed, and I'm also going to fix my brakes. Maybe vacuum the living room. I don't have enough room for that. So I'm either going to leave this in my stuff to do for next week. Maybe I'm going to do it during the week or whatnot. Now, if you wanted to do this for day blocking for your work, basically you're going to do the same stuff, um, except we're going to change this to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right, so we have kind of a lot of cards. You can see that you're going to run out of space. Um, the bigger the monitor you have, the more stuff that you can fit but some people will use it like this. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna change this to be weekend. All right, and I always, I always keep done on the far right so I can move everything from left to right. All right, so now we're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna have time to mow the lawn that day, I'm gonna have time on Thursday for, to vacuum, Tuesday, fix my brakes. And you can see that if I only had these tasks, it's gonna be really easy to do just one a day, and I'm gonna get everything done. I still have the weekend free. Um, but you know, this is just one scenario to use it for. Be sure to check out my other videos for some other ideas on how this may be applicable to your life as well.